Question 5. Park School collects money for three charities. This pictogram shows how much they have collected. So we've got Save Dolphins, Wild Watch and Plant a Tree. How much more have they collected for Save Dolphins than Plant a Tree? Now, the most important thing on any pictogram is the key. This here is your key. And it tells you what each picture is worth. So we know that a full circle, so four parts of the circle, stands for £100. So the easiest thing to do is actually write on each full circle £100. So this is a full circle, this is 100 full circle 100 full circle 100 This is half a circle, so it must be half of 100 half 100 is 50 Full circle 100 full circle 100 Full circle 100, full circle 100, and again we've got a full circle 100. This is a quarter of the circle because it's one out of the four pieces. So a quarter of 100 is 25. Now we know that, we can actually work out what all the charities have had collected. So save the dolphins is 100, 100, 150. So that makes 350. Wild Watch is 100 plus 100 plus 25. That's 225. And plant a tree is 100 plus 100 plus another 100. So that's 300. Once we've got those numbers, any questions that we've got to do should be nice and easy. So how much more have they collected for save dolphins than plant a tree? So save dolphins is 350. 350. Plant a tree is 300. That one is easy. It's obviously £50 more. Let's move on. The target for Wild Watch is £500. How much more money do they need to collect for Wild Watch? So Wild Watch, they already have this number here. They already have £225. But the target's 500 So we need to see how much more they need to get. So one way of doing this is to do... A column method. So if you start with 500 and subtract your 225 that we've already got, the difference is how much more they're going to need. So zero take away five we can't do. So we try to borrow one from this zero, but we can't borrow anything from zero. So we need to borrow one from the four. And that will now make 10. Now we've got 10 in the middle column, we need to borrow again from that middle column to get our one over here in the end column. So borrow from the 10, make 9. That is the one that we've borrowed. Now we can do it. 10 take away 5 is 5. 9 take away 2 is 7. 4 take away 2 is 2. So your answer should be £275. Of course, what you could have done is you could have counted up from 225 until you got to £500. So you could have said straight away, I need to add on £200, that gives me £425, and then I need to add on £75, and that gets me to my £500. So my £200 plus my £75 is £275, either way would have been an acceptable answer. One final question. How much money have they collected all together, rounded to the nearest £100? Well, let's go back. We've got 350, 225 and 300. I've set them up nicely for column method there. So add them up all together. We've got nothing plus 5 plus nothing is 5. 5 plus 2 plus nothing is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 3 is 8. So all together... They have collected £875. However, that is not what I write in here. Because it says how much money have they collected all together, which is £875. But then it says rounded to the nearest £100. Now, £875 to the nearest £100, well, this is more than £850. So if it's more than £850, we go up to the next 100 and round up to the next 100 means that the final answer is £900. And there's your three answers.